Hey, what's up guys? Today is gonna be a great day for you because you'll learn a lot about micro interactions right in Figma with interactive components. If you wonder to how to create this micro interaction and something like this even with play and pause we're gonna create this for our Spotify mobile application and reuse it as a component right here. Watch this video until the end. Awesome. I am Muhammad from Designer Mindset and I am super happy to have you on for this video. We're gonna learn a lot of stuff. But guys, we create all tutorials for Spotify app. Please check it out and you can learn it for free how to create this design. So, and after that, we create another playlist for make it interactive and bring life to your design. So please keep check it out and you know just watch them and give us feedback and we'll give you uh, feedbacks for your design all for free. Enjoy guys. So if you like this video, please subscribe to our channel and do us a favor, like this video. Because when you like this video, YouTube shows this video to more people and it helps us to grow more. Thank you guys. I love you so much. I highly appreciate it for everything you do for us. It helps us to create better content for you. Without further more, let's get into it. So Today we want to just create a little bit cool contraction. It's gonna be this play icon as I showed you in the beginning of this video. So this icon right here and this icon right here, we have a and right here. We have a use it multiple places in multiple components. So that's gonna be awesome. Let's start by creating a frame. Press F on your keyboard, click on here and make it 24 by 24. We use it as icon frame. So it's going to be our icon frame. That's cool. And we're going to alt and we're going to copy this. Let's a little bit zoom and want to show you how to create, for example, the hamburger menu. Uh, it's going to be pretty cool. Uh, so with the pen tool, press P on your keyboard and click here, hold shift, click here. So that's it for creating a little icon. We use 24 by 24 frame for creating our icon. So make it a little bit bigger. I think 16 is good for right now. And one is pretty awesome. So one pixel of stroke, I think. Okay, duplicate it three times. That's it. It's like all of them. Make sure they are in the center. It's done with this. Yeah, that's it. And another one we want to create have a close. So try to be creative and create a close from these three lines. What if wise, it's not you know, just one way to do this. You can you know, be creative and find a, another way. So that's it. And I create a plus icon. So I rotate it. Hold shift to rotate it in 90 degree. So yeah, just I show my trick to you. Grab all of them and hold shift to, yes, just to have a, a close icon. So and the next step is prototype it. So let's do it and connect this one to this. As always with default, you know, smart animate and, you know, make it a little bit faster than usual. It's not matter for right there. So that's pretty cool. Let's see it in action. So. As you can see, we have this, traction seven. So yeah, as you can see, pretty awesome interaction. So you can use it in your design. But if you want to use it in this frame, suppose we have a hamburger menu at the top of this four frame. We use the two frame just for having this animation. For example, if you have a four frame of the search home and extra, so we need make it eight to just have a, this animation and it's not possible. So Figma introduce a uh, interactive components. So interactive components, you can create very cool stuff. So we open, so we call this open state. And with this name convention, you can make your life easier guys. So yeah, that's it. Go back to design, select both of them. And from the component, you can create multiple components and you can create components it is the the fastest way to create this but you can always add variances to your component. so let me create a multiple component and add variants from here okay 
again we can do this with the component set so it is the fast way to create interactive components and try to name it this gonna be is our state so this is our state of this menu. so we can use these guys right in our frames without duplicating this frame just for animation so it is uh, interactive component just let me just reuse it here it is going to be ridiculous but okay it's not working because we should reconnect them okay now just if you can see it will be hard let me zoom in okay as you can see we have a just little animation without any another frame that's it and this is power of interactive components in figma That's just wonderful. Right now, we create a hamburger menu with close and open state, but we want to create this play and pause icon. So just I delete this one. And this is gonna be a little bit challenging, but let's get started to create it. How to create a pause and play icon. It's gonna be easy and fun. To creating this, guys, we want to use a rectangle. So for right now. First of all, we create the pause, 2 pixel by 2 pixel. Make it black, and yeah, that's it. This is gonna be rename it with command or control R. So I can slash, gonna be pause. Command D, command R is gonna be icon slash, gonna be play. So this time our challenge is create a play from this pulse. Uh, so you can do it multiple ways. I will show you one way and I challenge you to do more stuff. So the one way is when you double click on this guy, the first one, or it doesn't matter which of them, double click, go to the edit mode. So you'll see you can add another node, click on here. You see the plus icon so yeah and yes just make it a little bit bigger and drag it and move it to the right side this is it and make sure i want to for example just animate it in this way so we just created a school animation let's create a prototype yes Something like this it's gonna be smart animate with default settings and smart animate just we tell you so let's check it out okay as you can see we have a this cool animation maybe not smooth as after effect but it's acceptable just for proof of concept so that's it and you can use it in component for example we want to reuse it here inside component and reuse it here so it's enough for using this here just you can add it to this component right here so let's create this one and just for right now we should create component set and we have an icon and it's gonna be again state or whatever like now we can remove the fill of the background and just we can drag it over here it's gonna be a little bit bigger doesn't matter for us right now and make it white to see it you can see it's gonna be white also so that's it we use it right here at the place of make sure select all of stuff we have here Yes, we call it playing music. Okay, and we can reuse it inside here. Just drag it over here and remove previous. Okay, in order to compare them. So we should connect them together in order to work it. So let's do that. And as you can see here, it's gonna be great, cool interaction right here. That's it, that is for today's video. So guys, if you enjoyed this video, please like, subscribe, subscribe, subscribe to our channel because it helps us to create more and more videos weekly and regularly. And thank you so much. If you want to learn how to create this all stuff, we have created to learn about auto layout and components. 
and even everything that you think about to how to learn Figma and to it in the new year. It's highly recommended video, so please check it out our playlists and watch these videos and give us feedback. Thank you so much, guys. Until the next video, goodbye.